Hey everyone, welcome back, and we got ourselves a new uh, radio thing, so we're going to listen to that. Oopsies, I left the boat on, or submarine. And we're going to listen to this, and then we're going to go look for the Lost River. Because we got to. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. Oh. We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Good luck. Um... Location uploaded to PDA. Where? That's really far away. We'll have to check that out some other time. Hello, Mr. Warpers. Okay, so the best thing to do here is, first of all, turn off the floodlights, uh, so we don't get attacked by a million crab squids. It's great that I actually read that. That looks to me like the entrance to the, uh, what I'm looking for. It's gonna hurt me, right? Okay. Now it won't hurt me. I want to go over something that we can actually get in with. Okay. So, our goal is now... Let's turn, the, let's turn this thing off. Our goal is now... I want to head into what I assume is the Lost River, and we need some nickel. We're not fully charged, or is that... We're not fully healed. Not fully healed. Okay, this is definitely the Lost River down here. We are in heavy need of some nickel now. So this, this is the Lost River. Well, it will be in a second. These are like little poison pods. If I got out of here, it would, it's not good for my complexion. I'll put it that way. Okay. So let's just drop in here. I, the only reason I'm heading so, so low to try and find, welcome to the ghost rays. Only reason I'm heading so incredibly low to try and find this nickel stuff is because my, my thought process is yeah, we're we're way below the depth that 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 thing can go. Um my idea is that if we go deep enough, then well we'll be fine. What are you? Give. Okay. What are you? Hey, look at that. So we need 3, I think. See, my my bet paid off. Um that almost never works, too. Uh, I'm really happy about that. And the best part... Amoeboid. The best part about it is the rebreather! We're not taking any more air than we need to. I also would like to mark this entrance, so we're gonna also need to grab our, uh... thing. Wow, that's very helpful. We're gonna need to grab our... so we need three, I think. I don't want to head down there because it will not be fun to get back up. Uh, that's really the only problem. Now it looks like we can't just walk over things and pick them up. Uh, we might have to go down there, to be honest. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Um, before I go... Eh, wait. I saw a bunch of things on my way down. I think those were all... Hello. I think those were all nickel. Yes, it is. I was looking for a big clump of them again. I wasn't, you know, keeping my eyes open for what I really needed to look for. I want to scan this thing. It's cool. Ghost Ray. Hope he's, hope he's not mean. That'd be a bummer. You know, I probably should have just swam down here. I don't know why I brought the prawn. Oh, I know I brought, why I brought the prawn. I thought I was going to have to go in the, in the yucky juice. We didn't have to. That, by the way, that is a scientific term. The uh, Lost River is filled with yucky juice. Huh. See if there's anything up here. I, I kind of also am trying to move, um... I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to move by jumping onto different ledges. I, f I feel like that's a good, I good way to deal with, uh, copper, give me. I feel like this, this is a good way to deal with this, especially as, uh, gotta go so high. Yeah, okay, that's definitely a bunch of nickel there. Um... Yeah, I might, um, I almost just made a really bad joke. I would have felt very upset at myself if I actually made that joke. Okay. I am... Hmm. So, okay, so that... That definitely confirms it. So once we get down here, that's when we're in the Grand Reef. I am going to, uh... I'm gonna take this thing, go a little bit deeper than I would rather... Than I would go in the prawn. That guy's, that guy's hanging off of nothing. What's going on there? I'm gonna go a little deeper than I norm than I would go in the prawn, just because we, you know, can't fly out of there. And we, I want to find just a few more nickels. 
that'd be very nice. You know, free money and all. Uh, okay, so... And I don't want to go too far. Just because... Okay, we have three. That's enough for the depth thing. Let us uh, get the prawn to the fish. And then let us head to the surface. And make ourselves the next depth module for... The sea... Mm, Cyclops. That's what I was... That's what I was going for. And then, and then we can explore the Lost River. What I might do is see if I have everything on hand just to make it. Because I might. I might actually have every, everything just on hand. Um, I always forget how long the jump jets actually last. Because whenever I use them, I'm always just completely spamming them. I want to stay away from the warpers. Just because the warpers kind of... Uh, they have this bad habit of pulling you out of whatever you're in and attacking you. I don't want that. Not interested. Mm-mm. Not at all. Okay, great. Looks like I actually parked that in a pretty good place. Works perfectly. We have the ghost ray thing to read about. Ugh, this is a lot more higher up than I thought. Ugh. We made it. Great. And now we can... Come on. And uh, let's wait for it to go this way. And then we can pull up this. Eventually. Eventually it'll work. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Okay. So let's see what it takes to do this Cyclops upgrade. So we need a Plasteel. You know what? We can make this right here. I'm... I understand how much of a bad idea this is. But I am honestly thinking that I can get that depth module out and created before this thing implodes. I'm gonna I'm I'm try. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try this. I know it's a bad idea. I know how bad of an idea this is, but I'm still gonna try. Oh wait, no, I need to make the plasteel. I'm not, not going in half cocked on this. Okay, um, plasteel. Come on, let's go. This is, uh... Like I said, I'm understanding how much of a bad idea this is. Uh, it's the other side, right? Okay, good to know. Okay. Huh? Oh! I'm an idiot. I'd like everyone to know I'm an idiot. I didn't even make the Mark 1, but I guess we can make the Mark 1 and the Mark 2 at the same time. We just need one more ruby. I mean, there's plenty of it around here. Uh, I'm pretty sure I grabbed more. Well, I guess I didn't. Well, man, it's gonna be real hard to find. Do 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 do. I'm pretty sure I saw a bunch on the wall. Oh, don't tell me I have to go all the way back down there again. Might have. Oh, whatever. Not that hard. Um, okay, and since, since this is the entrance to the Lost River, I'm gonna put this... Where is it? Uh, do I not? Yeah, there it is. I wanna put this guy... Let's put him right here. Also, scan this anchor pod. And I'll just call this... Um... Come on. Lost River Entrance. I'll just say Lost River. Yay, I think I can edit... If I go to Beacon Manager, can I... No, I can't name them. I want to make this guy yellow. Great. Okay, now let's, uh... Let's do what... I understand is another dumb idea, but... Hey, I'm all full of dumb ideas right now. Okay, we just need a ruby. Great. Found a ruby. That was hard. That was a little too hard for me. I don't want to grab a few, though. You know, I'm really happy that ghost rays don't attack me. Maybe they do if I stand in front of them. Not going to test it. Not going to test it. I did see a bunch of them down here, though. Yep. I want to just grab all these. Again, I guess I can show you that it hurts you. Uh, boop, boop, boop. I mean, I'm sure you hear me furiously spamming left click whenever I find... So uh, no, he wasn't going after me. I, I love how you can see there what looks to be 
I don't know, lungs and heart, maybe? Stomach? I don't know what you can see there. I would assume lungs, but then again, fish don't really have lungs. Oh, they do have... Uh, they have lungs, but they're not really lungs. They're more, uh, membranes for removing oxygen, but whatever. Rem removing oxygen from the water. They're not removing oxygen permanently. Okay, so in we go. We I really parked just about perfectly at 500. Okay, so let's go in here. Let's make ourselves... One of these, and then, you know, I want to see how much this increases it by. Just out of curiosity, how much do we get? 900. Not bad. I want more. So, let's, uh, we're going to actually need two of these. So, one of those, and then, uh, we need to drop something off. There we go, great. Another one of these. Come on. I think this will give us 1,200 and the last one's 15. And the prawn goes straight to 15 if I remember, if I remember right. Got a little nice titanium ingot. Wasting all our titanium, but eh, whatever. You know, I was thinking we'd have to take out that upgrade and just sprint to the modification station, but turns out I was very wrong. Depth module! I also, I want to try and make some more efficiency modules. I want to see, no, wrong side. Why don't, I, just, I don't understand why you, they don't put them on the same side. That seems kind of, seems kind of dumb. 1300, that's better than 1200. Maybe it's 1700 for the final one. Okay, shield. I need polyanilin and a power cell. Huh. Fire suppression, decoy tube, I don't need that. I like this, I want this, um, but I need Polyanilin. How do I get? I feel like I was. I feel like I was going for that at some point. Um, I should. Yeah, let's let's check our. Uh, see, what, that's wrong button. Okay, blueprints. Uh, polyanilin, gold, hydrochloric acid, deep shroom, and salt deposits. Great. Um. Do I? I could have sworn I had deep shrooms in here somewhere. One, two, three. Wait, what was it? I already forgot. Uh, and a salt. I gotta have a salt somewhere. I would laugh if I don't have any salt. Um, I may about may have to laugh soon. Nope, we're good. So this, and then hydrochloric acid. We need a gold. Got plenty of that. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't actually have plenty of that in this slightest, but I got enough. Okay, and then I think I need a power cell. Yeah, so I, I definitely need a power cell and a uh, that wiring kit. I'll need to borrow that. I think this is an advanced wiring kit too, which is a bummer. Yeah, god, that they're so hard to make. Okay, let's go over here. Really, uh, really kitting this thing out before we uh, head down. Yay! I like that we can make that, though I do need some more deep shrooms, so I know where I'm going to find them, though. I'll find them somewhere. Okay, one more thing. I should probably put some more... I would love that thermal generator thing, but we need the kyanite. Okay, so that shield generator allows us to activate a shield around this thing. It takes a... takes hella power, but it's, it's worth it. So, it's right there. And I want to get some more efficiency modules, like fill the entire thing with efficiency modules. I never use a decoy tube, ever. And that stuff. Okay, so now that we have... Way more than plenty of uh, depth for this. Let's head into the Lost River. You know, after making ourselves some nice uh, Cyclops upgrades. Man, I, that's been a long time just messing around. Okay, uh, let's just, you know, I don't think I have any lights on. I don't have any lights on. Maybe I do, oh, I do have a light on. Oopsies, that's my bad. Okay, well down we go into the Lost River. I think this is the normal entrance I use. No, this is a different entrance. Hmm. Well, if this is a different entrance and I can find my other usual entrance, I mean, that 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 seems about right because it's a pain to get in and out of. Yeah, that seems about right. If I can find my one I'm used to, uh, that if it isn't that one, then obviously I'll go get it. Okay, well anyways, welcome to the Lost River. Um, home of Nickel. 
And these ghost... I forgot to read the ghost rays. Hold it. This is uh, very important. Data bank. Uh, herbivore is ghost... Oh, sweet. Herbivore. Ghost ray. This ray species is adapted to DC condi deep sea conditions. It's not DC. Its body is fully protected by a translucent skin, and its large wings are capable of generating considerable thrust. Poisonous flesh. As is common for rays on 4546B, the ghost ray's flesh is inedible, making it one of the more resilient herbivores. Feeding behavior feeds on plant matter that is settled on the ground in deep sea caverns. Assessment inedible. Thank you. I need really, really needed that assessment. Then again, I probably would have tried to eat it, even even if it told me. Excuse me, Ghost Ray. I'm coming through. Okay. Um, didn't we have a place we were supposed to be going? Just, just want to check this out. Uh, no. Beacon manager. Not this stuff. Okay. Data bank. I want to close all this stuff up. All this indigenous life form junk. Uh, nickel. Essential for advanced fabrication. Thank you. Uh, okay. Codes and clues. Depth 800 meters. Case system with extensive false arrest uh, record. Southwest. Live specimen study. Kara. So it's not Karar. Okay. So we want to get to the disease research facility. Next is uh, thermal power. And then I know I know which one is the next one after that, but I ain't telling. Okay, so let's hop into window mode. Or well, not window mode, but this mode. Okay, yeah. So we came from that way. So we're going this way now. Zah. So there's there's a leviathan somewhere in the Lost River, and I'ma scan him, and that's partially why I want the stasis rifle. There are two things that I need the stasis rifle for now. Only two. And uh, I'm sure I'm going to end up dying to them many a time. Again, like I said, welcome. There he is. Uh, but first things first. Got some listening. Terrain scans indicate this biome contains unusually high concentrations of organic and fossilized remains. Indeed. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna want to get closer to this guy. This is the this is the ghost. This is the ghost thing. Not sure what ghost things means, but actually I know exactly what ghost things means. Ghost thing means it's getting hella scanned. That is uh if you are a Leviathan and you run across the front of my Cyclops, this guy is gonna They're gonna get scanned. And I guess we can show off the stasis rifle. It's basically it's the only gun that you get in this game. Hello. Ghost Leviathan Juvenile. Forgot that, that he's actually not a big boy. Come on. Hello. Nice, nice mouth. Okay, well anyways, we scanned him. But what happens is that the longer you hold that down, the more charge it takes. Then if you use a stasis rifle, they kind of just chill. So we're going to head down here and while he's... uh. While he's chilling out there, we're gonna scan this. Dude, I know you're angry, but it happens, man. And also, the longer you hold that down, the longer it will they will stay frozen. What? Okay. I'm missing every shot. Boom! Okay, so now, gotta go down and scan this guy. Then we can read everything we've learned about this area. River Prowler. I don't think I scanned this guy before. Yeah. Well, let's go head back to the boat. Somewhere safe. Away from scary... Not that scary. Juvenile Ghost Leviathan. Yeah. Okay. Better be. Hello, buddy. Uh, so we, we need some, uh, first, first and foremost, we need some first aid. What now? So many, so much stuff. Am I that target? I could very well be that target, and that wouldn't surprise me at all. 
I guess we'll have to find out. Uh, that's actually something I don't know, because I've, I've never heard that voice line before. That, that, that's a completely new thing to me. Like, I mean, like I've, like I mentioned, I've, I've played through pretty much to the end of the game. I just haven't done the end of the game. Okay, well, I'm gonna end it off here. Next time we will continue to explore the Lost River, hopefully find ourselves the, the next facility that we got to get to. Well, not hopefully, I know exactly where it is, but... No, we got some reading to do. I'm not gonna make you guys start off an episode reading. So you guys can leave now if you don't want to hear me read, or you can help me read. Not help, but I'll read. River Prowler, a fast, agile predator discovered at great depth. Jaws, powerful jaws used for both savaging prey and warding off larger predators. Torso, its eel-like torso is highly vulnerable, consisting predominantly of spinal column and cartilage. You don't want to leave that spinal column open. It shows significant overlap with other eel-like predators in 4546B. That ghost leviathan is just whacking into me constantly. Attack profile. It will aggressively keep its jaws facing its opponent, but smaller, faster life once I have the advantage. Assessment. Avoid. Doesn't really care, though. Gargantuan fossil. The fossilized remains of an extinct super predator. Its sheer size would have prohibited it from entering such an enclosed space, suggesting the geography of the planet has shifted around it over time. A true apex predator. They did it approximately 3 million years old. Ribcage measurements suggest the creature was eel like in structure. Calculation suggests this is only the front third of the specimen. The remains now support a vibrant microcosm of life. Note, hey friend, what are you doing up there? Note, there are a series of precise angular indentations on the ribcage, suggesting a third party has taken samples from the specimen in a previous time. Ah, so the people before us. Ghost Leviathan Juvenile. This large predator has adapted to live in deep waters and dark cave systems, attacking anything and everything in its quest to grow larger. Torso. Soft outer membrane and elongated body enable superior navigation of tight cave environments. Displays some similarities to the other eel like predators in the area. However, the ghost of the has covered with, over the electrical prongs in its inner torso with a taut transparent membrane, which delivers superior maneuverability. Diet. In its juvenile state, this violin feeds on lava hood, larger herbivores, and unfortunately members of its own species. They display a remarkable rate of growth that shows no sign of stopping, suggesting that they must abandon their hatching grounds before they grow too large and make for open waters. Assessment avoid. I wonder if that's the thing that eats you when you go too far outside. Meboid, I'm not reading that. Great. Well, now that we've read that, we can end it off. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Where we'll go find a new facility and explore the Lost River some more. Maybe get some nickel. Yeah, we'll see. See you guys then. Bye.